A couple members with the National Federation of Republican Women tell One America News that this election cycle will be decided by the ladies. Here's One America's Monica Page. I'm here with Martha and Nikki of the National Federation of Republican Women. Thank you guys so much for being here with us on One America News. Uh, tell us, first of all, how important are women's issues right now more than ever as we head into November? I think they are incredibly important. I think that's, you know, what we're seeing is that that's what this election is going to boil down to is the women. And uh, the Democrats would love to make this about abortion and, and all of those women's rights, but we're taking this movement back and we are going to win the White House for President Trump in 2024. Absolutely. Well, women's issues are everyone's issues when it comes to the economy, it comes to the border, it comes to parents' rights. Uh, the National Federation of Republican Women believes that that's what women, most women are voting on, is those issues and not necessarily anything else. And uh, they all affect each other. I mean, the border is affecting the economy. And, and vice versa. I mean, if we look at inflation and how high inflation has been, a lot of that is too much money chasing too few goods, but it's also a rise in demand. If you think about all the extra people here demanding services, uh, food, housing, clothing, everything is higher because we have extra people here. And uh, the, the supply chain wasn't ready for it. Right. And when you talk about the border and women's issues, I mean, that is also a women's issue. Women are being killed at the hands of illegal immigrants. How has President Biden uh, weaponized the issue of women since taking the White House? He's, he's, he acts like it's not even an issue, Check. Check. One, that, that these, these atrocities that are happening Check. to One, women two. by illegals, like they're not even happening. He's just ignoring it and, and not giving our law, our law enforcement officers what they need to protect the citizens. Well, women and children are the victims more than anyone of the border issues because they're being trafficked into the country. They're being sold as slaves, basically, whether it's for labor or for sex slaves. And we thought we ended slavery a long time ago. In fact, the Republican Party was founded to end slavery, and it did, and we've got to take up that mantle once again. Absolutely. And uh, obviously, as we know, President Trump is here in New Jersey giving a speech, uh, you know, on the weekend of Mother's on Day. So just important. Two. How important is it that President Trump, you know, remains the most pro-woman, pro-family, pro-mother president on really of our generation? One, it's very important. And as we see the Democrats kind of have a war on women right now, they're they're taking our rights away every day. What we've seen with Title IX and President Trump is one of the most pro-women presidents we've ever had. He hires more women in his administration and his businesses. He has the most women CEOs. He is very pro-woman and um, on all aspects. So we definitely need him back in the White House. Absolutely. Right. Uh, Nikki just touched on the issue of Title IX. Women fought for years for the rights that we have to be considered equals in the employment world, the sports world. It's like they want to erase women, and all of a sudden we don't matter anymore. And I just don't understand why the more liberal women's groups out there aren't standing up and fighting for all women. Exactly. And, you know, uh, obviously as President Trump takes the stage, what do you hope to hear from him uh, this evening? And what's your message to President Trump from the National Federation of Republican Women? Our message to him would be, we are behind you 110%. We're going to bring you the suburban woman vote, and we're happy to do so. And I just, I hope he, you know, thanks all the women and mothers out there. I know he will. And, um, and we're just excited to work hard and get him back in the White House in 24. Absolutely. Yes, we just want to let him know that we are behind him 100%, that we're going to work night and day to make sure that he gets elected and gets back in the White House because America needs him. Yep. Now more than ever, Martha and Nikki of the National Federation of Republican Women, thank you so much for being here with thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you.